next topic of our discussion is the theories of failure right theories of failure is used to determine the safe dimension of a component when that dimension is subjected to or when that structure or any member is subjected to the combined stresses right हम लोगों ने ऑलरेडी देखा था कि कंबाइंड स्ट्रेसेस के टाइम पे व्हाट इज द शियर स्ट्रेस एंड व्हाट इज द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑन सम ऑब्लिक प्लेन एंड व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज इंड्यूस्ड इन दैट मेंबर व्हाट इज द इन प्लेन टाउमैक्स और एब्सोल्यूट टाउमैक्स वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस राइट तो थ्योरीज ऑफ फेलियर क्या देगा आपको थ्योरीज ऑफ फेलियर देगा आपको सेफ डायमेंशन व्हेन ए सब्जेक्टेड व्हेन ए मेंबर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू योर कंबाइंड लोडिंग अगर सब मेंबर इफ मेंबर इज अंडर प्योर एक्सियल और प्योर बेंडिंग और प्योर ट्विस्टिंग देन इट इज वेरी इजी टू फाइंड आउट द सेफ डायमेंशन लेकिन अगर कंबाइंड लोडिंग है तो हमारे पास कोई एक फॉर्मूले इज नहीं है कंबाइंड लोडिंग के केस में टू डिटरमाइन द सेफ डायमेंशन दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग द थ्यूरीज ऑफ फेलियर देर आर फाइव थ्यूरीज ऑफ फेलियर बेसिकली इन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल विच वी आर स्टडिंग द फर्स्ट वन इज द मैक्सिमम प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस थ्यूरी और यू कैन से इट इज ए रेंकाइन थ्यूरी so it is maximum principal stress right we already studied what is the principal stress principal stress is the maximum normal stress induced in the member that is your sigma 1 and maximum principal stress is on that plane where your shear stress is zero so the maximum principal stress theory will say that the maximum principal strain that is the sigma 1 should be less than equal to syt upon n what is syt syt is the yielding strength in tension or sut by n sut is ultimate strength under tension so if do you have to design within the elastic region then you have to take syt and if you have to design for the fracture or for the failure then you have to take sut by n SYT and SUT will be given and is the factor of safety so sigma 1 you already know that how to calculate the sigma 1 we already studied in the combined stresses so this is the maximum principal stress theory next is second is the maximum shear stress theory maximum shear stress or you can say guest and tresca's theory the maximum shear stress we know this this theories are for the these theories are used to design the component and to design the component we have to be taken only the absolute tau max now we are not discussing about in plane tau max in plane tau max ki baat nahi karenge kyunki jab design kar rahe hai to humko matlab hai ki bhai pura puri body mein maximum shear stress batao to absolute tau max we have to take so at the maximum shear stress theory says that the absolute tau max should be less than or equal to sys SYS is yielding strength under shear because it is a shear stress theory so we have to take SYS or SYS is equal to SYT by 2 so absolute tau max should be less than or equal to SYT by 2 from here you can you can take the you can calculate the dimension what is the absolute tau max absolute tau max is the larger of your Three in plane tau max that is sigma one minus sigma two by two or sigma two minus sigma three by two and sigma three minus sigma one by two. The larger of these will be the absolute tau max and that should be less than or equal to S by T by two. S by T will be given in the question, right? So for the biaxial state, we say that if the if it is a biaxial state, so the absolute tau max will be either sigma one by two or sigma one minus sigma two by two. When it is sigma one by two. when both both the sigma 1 and sigma 2 are of same nature and if sigma 1 and sigma 2 are of opposite nature then the absolute tau max will be sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 and that should be less than or equal to syt by 2 n so this is the way you can calculate this is there n will be there so this is the maximum shear stress theory the third the third theory is the maximum principal strain theory or we can say that it is it is a sant vinant's theory it says that the maximum principal strain that is epsilon 1 we already see that there is a principal strain also so the principal strain will be less than or equal to pure yielding strain under tension test right yielding strain under test and uh, tension test or you can say that yielding strain will be yielding stress upon your young's modulus of elasticity into n that is the factor of safety so you can say epsilon 1 should be less than or equal to syt by e into n and epsilon 1 we know the formula for epsilon 1 that is 1 upon e into sigma 1 minus mu times sigma 2 plus sigma 3 that should be less than or equal to syt by n so from here you can calculate the dimensions 
The fourth theory is the total strain energy theory or you can say it is a Higgs theory, right? Just आपको ये theories के formula याद रखने हैं paper में बहुत कम chances है कि theories of failure पे question आएगा अगर आता है तो direct values put करेंगे आपको answer मिलेंगे gate में इससे ज़्यादा आपका variation नहीं आता है theories of failure में उतने ज़्यादा questions नहीं पूछेगा वो तो total strain energy theory the formula for total strain energy theory will be sigma one square plus sigma two square plus sigma three square minus two mu times sigma one sigma two plus sigma two sigma three plus sigma 3 sigma 1 should be less than or equal to s by t by n square right agar by axial hoga to sigma 3 ko zero put kar denge then you will get one formula the fifth and the last is the maximum distortion energy theory this is the most important theory or we this is the most useful theory if, if you consider it in a machine design we will see in machine design it this one so it is also known as von mises theory the formula is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square should be less than or equal to 2 into s y t by n square here it is s y t by n square here it is 2 into s y t by n square so if they are asking any question on these theory you can just simply learn the formula you put the formula and you will get the answer